Hi Pisces, it's Leslie with your September forecast. The full moon in Pisces is on the eight, on the sixth. Excuse me. Sharing responsibility and workload becomes a priority for balance and fairness. Balance and fairness are monumental for you, Pisces, this month more than any other sign. You really need cooperation. You need the balance. Um, you're you're um, not getting everything you need in, in to fulfill yourself. And there are a lot of people like like this uh, of us. But you you need you need to balance that out now. You need to know what you need to do to balance it out. It's important in order to enjoy optimism, success. Conversations will be lively and turn into good into good natured debates. And that's mean um, again. Love is love is is the message this year. Mercury changes signs and opposes your sign until the 29th. Communications. Venus answers your partnership sign. Your charismatic individuality, and you have that, are challenging and inspiring. Others need much from you. Your best days are the 9th, the 20th, and the 30th. And, I, and if anyone notices, I do, I do make notes of all of this because it's hard to remember all of it all at once in my head. So if you see me reading, because Sue, Sue types it up for me after, you know, after, we, after we do the horoscopes, and I can go into depth for these much more uh, places I think this month you would like to have be in depth more so you can call me for a reading, but it's an important month for you. So let's see what the, what the cards have in store for you. Oh, changes. You understand the changes. Changes coming now. Uh, you're helping others. You're getting back from others. Okay. This is a good month for you. Also, um... Physically, sexually, hubba, 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 hubba. Look at here. So this is actually the, the lust card of the deck, and it's in your environment. And so now you're, you're, you're wanting to bring that into you. And here you're thinking about quite how to do it exactly. Um, you're also wondering about people that um, are coming into your life, if you should give yourself back to them, I mean, as far as even your personality, or if, if not. Um, and this, the magician tells me, and he's your most positive influence, pull on your higher power. You have all the tools you need to, to get what you need. Pull on your higher power. Don't wonder about it, pull, and you'll see if this is what you need. Um, you're not feeling very, this is, this is Earth Mother, and I think you don't, you're tired of helping everyone. I think it's time for you to pull back and help yourself. Just this month. And here you are. Uh, helping others, I don't know if that's children or someone that you know financially, or giving something of yourself, which you are helping others. And the Wheel of Fortune, of course, has just happened for you. That's with the eclipse. Things are going to change in a very positive way. The Wheel of Fortune brings change, good things coming to you. It's a good month for you. Uh, much more happening, a busier month than you normally have. Pisces, have a good month. Bye-bye.